Hi, Mom. Hi, Rach. How are you doing? Great. I'm very excited about what we're seeing here. Are you? Yeah. Cool. I am too. What are you doing? Uh, an abstract looking uh, platter um, with some really, really bright colors. This is my inspiration palette here. I think this is a fabulous color group. Mm -hmm. Makes me happy. Yeah. And we do a lot of designing for uh, summertime, Florida, Flamingo. They're a big uh, theme for us in the company. Um, so I thought, let's try doing something that is just about color and shape right now. That's what's really in. Right. Um, and then, so I've, I've gathered together all sorts of different colors. Um, I really like using the Spectrum um, glazes. This is a new one called Hot Pink. Um, it looks very soft right now, but it's going to come up to a really bright, intense pink. Okay. Um, and I got some nice like, Christmas red and some gorgeous... Uh, this one's called, well, this is just orange, <laughs> uh, and uh, royal purple. Like, they're really intense, really gorgeous, yeah. rich, velvety colors. And then um, it's about application. Okay. And um, one of the things that when you're doing this is you want to look at not just that you're going to do an abstract, but how are things now? Like, if you want to just make it look contemporary, but now... Look at the way that paper art is done, cards, um, other ceramic companies. And something that you'll notice now, there's a lot of dip glazing where they'll, they'll leave a really wide um, bottom uh, rim um, that's not glazed at all. Okay. Um, or an edge or something. And a great way to do that, if, if you want to hand paint it, that's great. But another great way is to mask it off. So this green is just uh, frog tape here. Okay. And so I'm going to let my colors touch and go over it. But I'm not going to make all of my color be solid. It's going to sort of just go up and down. But when we pull it off, we'll have that really great graphic edge. Um, let's see what happens. Absolutely. Let's see. All right.